there and welcome to this week's psalm which is psalm 8 <clears throat> and it says lord your name is so great and powerful people everywhere see your splendor your glorious majesty streams from the heavens filling the earth with the fame of your name you have built a stronghold by the song songs of babies strength rises up with the chorus of singing children this kind of praise has the power to shut Satan's mouth. Childlike worship will silence the madness of those who oppose you. Look at the splendor of your skies, your creative genius glowing in the heavens. When I gaze at your moon and your stars, mounted like jewels in their settings, I know you are the fascinating artist who fashioned it all. But when I look up and see such wonder and workmanship above, I have to ask you this question. Compared to all this cosmic glory, why would you bother with puny mortal man or be inf infatuated with Adam's sons? Yet what honour you have given to men, created only a little lower than Elohim, crowned like kings and queens with glory and magnificence, you have delegated to them. Mastery over all you have made making everything subservient to their authority, placing each earth itself under the feet of your image bearers, all the created order and every living thing of the earth, sky and sea, the wildest beasts and all the sea creatures. Everything is in submission to Adam's sons. Lord, your name is so great and powerful. People everywhere, see your majesty what glory streams from the heavens, filling the earth with the fame of your name. And my prayer today is that your childlike worship will shut Satan's mouth and silence the madness of those who oppress you. And I pray that you will go and look into creation this week and see, see the beauty of creation and enjoy it and soak it up because we are God's image bearers and he has given us the earth to look after. So let's enjoy it, let's look after it, and let's see God's majesty in everything we do within our day. God bless.